The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. A scatter plot is a graph in which the data is plotted on a coordinate grid. So the horizontal axis will be the x-axis and the vertical axis will be the y-axis. To draw a scatter plot for the data shown here, notice that the table shows the number of traffic tickets that Judy received each year for a 10-year period. So begin by titling your scatter plot, Judy's Traffic Tickets. Next, draw the axes for the scatter plot. The x-axis will be labeled with years, and the y-axis will be labeled traffic tickets. We know that the years listed along the x-axis will be the same as those listed in the table. 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, and 89. Along the y-axis, we need a scale. I would suggest using a scale starting with zero with intervals of one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now we simply plot the points. In 1980, Judy received nine traffic tickets. In 1981, Judy received eight tickets. In 1982, Judy received seven tickets. In 1983, Judy received five tickets. In 1984, Judy received five tickets, and in 1985, Judy received five tickets. In 1986, Judy received four tickets. In 1987, Judy received one ticket. In 1988, Judy received three tickets, and in 1989, Judy received two tickets. Notice that there seems to be a best fit line. Draw a line that matches the points. This line will be the best fit line. In the scatter plot, notice that as the years get bigger, the number of tickets gets smaller. Since as the x values increase, the y values decrease, we say that there's a negative correlation. 